Hey, my dudes, welcome to another episode of Your Godfather's Pizza. Today, we're not making pizza, we're making earth crusted prime rib. Watch this. So we got here, food processor. I got some sage in there, some basil, right? We got some fresh oregano picked off the stems there. I got some parsley. We're gonna put that in there. We're gonna scoop all this together. Now you can use fresh garlic, but the problem is when we put this in the oven, the garlic will burn and it'll give a bitter taste. So I kind of leave the garlic out, but you can add some garlic powder or granulated garlic, that would be fine. What we do here is we got some put out salt and pepper. We're gonna put some of that in there, only about half right now. So we gotta get this into a paste or a paste. Put this on here, boom, bang, back. You know what, let's put a little bit of oil. I got here some extra virgin olive oil, some good quality oil. Just get a little bit there started. Some lubrication to get the herbs spinning, right? We're gonna hit the power on. Then we're gonna just hit one. There's a little hole in the top. We're gonna add some oil a little at a time so we get the consistency we want. Oh, look at that. Some would call this emulsification, but I can't spell it, so I don't say it. Now, we're gonna take a spoon, we're gonna scrape down the side. Okay, so we're gonna stop it. Turn that off in there. Grab this, pop it right in your room. Scrape it down a little bit. Almost there, not quite. Oh my God. If we had a friggin' cat's astrophy, yeah, you fell off the friggin' shelf. That's all right here. I'm gonna fix it. Let me figure out, eh, bear with me. Technicalities with difficulties and stuff. What's going on here? I need something heavy. Let me push this back there. Put this in front here. How's that? Does that block anything? No, you just can't see nothing, stupid. Let's see there, let's see. No, no not quite. Is that, okay. Bing, bang, boom, we're back to it. It's a little bit different, but we're still good. So, we're gonna scrape this down. Yeah, just like that. Put the cap on. Hit the blend. Boy! Oh, the cap's not on there, good. Now, we're gonna add some more oil. We want this to be like a paste. Still out of time, there. Yeah. Now that's some chopping. And it's pretty good, we're gonna go a little bit more. We don't want it too wet, we're not making a dressing. We're not stuffing uh, a dressing, right? Some people call stuffing dressing. I said, what do you put on your salad? Stuffing, you get the point. Done. Pop the top. All right, look, look what we got here. Let's take the blades of fury out. Look, Blades of Fury, okay? That. Don't cut yourself. Look, you see here? We got this paste here, right? Now, it's gonna be really potent, but you gotta taste it for the salt content. Ready? Huh. Now what we do, we got here a uh, five and a half pound bone-in stand-in rib roast from uh, Detweiler's Market. Now, why do we call it standing rib roast? Well, as you can see, it's standing, okay? It doesn't have legs. How well, although at one point it did. Let's not get into that, all right? We take the paste. We're gonna put it all over the rib roast. We're gonna rub it. Just slather that thing, S-L-A-T-H-E-R. When you Even when you spell it, you seem to spit a little. It's terrible. Not in the age of COVID, don't do that, okay? We're slathering it. Anyhow, check it out. We're gonna put all this on here, right? And for the for the sake of time, not T-H-Y-M-E, but the T-I-M-E, I'm gonna pop my gloves off so you can see this. Hold on. All right, people, look. It's covered on all sides. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover it in plastic wrap, but we're not gonna leave it in the bowl because the uh, 
the metal could have a metallic reaction with some of the acids, right? Generally, it only happens with aluminum and not stainless, but I like the plastic wrap the whole thing. That way, there's no air and all the herbs stay in contact with the meat. 24 hours, next day, you're gonna pop it in the oven at 375 for like 20 minutes till you get some color on it, right? 20, maybe take 40 minutes, get some color. Then bump it down to 300 degrees and then pull it out when an in-terminal thermometer in the middle reads 120 to 125 degrees. Tend it with foil, let it rest for 30, minutes then slice and enjoy that should be medium rare and if it's not you didn't hear that from me have a great day Merry Christmas I love you guys bye bye